Ricky Gervais' newest Netflix special is certainly rubbing people the wrong way. However, the people that it's upsetting are almost primarily check marks and critics, and of course, a small minority of people in the LGBTQ plus community that have a problem with jokes. It sparked several headlines like this with Ricky Gervais' new special, Netflix yet again suffers transphobic fools. Does Netflix even care that Ricky Gervais' supernature is rife with transphobic turf ideology? And if you just read headlines, if you just looked at what's trending on Twitter, you might think that people hated Ricky Gervais's newest special. But once again, it's just the most recent indication that sometimes the critics and the audience are vastly different on how they perceive something. Just like with Dave Chappelle's special, the critics who are basically required to give it a bad review or lose their woke virtue signaling card, they're giving it a bad review, whereas the audience is absolutely loving it. Supernature by Ricky Gervais takes a shot at trans activists, takes a shot at the very people who don't want you to make fun of this one very specific group of people. It should be off limits for comedians. At the end of the day, comedy is comedy. The point of a stand-up comedy routine is that when you go in there, everything is fair game. Every single person, every single group gets made fun of. It doesn't matter if you're Christian, Muslim, black, white, gay, trans, straight, whatever. It's equal opportunity. Everyone is getting made fun of. Yet there's one group of people that you're not allowed to talk about. And if you're a critic, you're not allowed to even say it's funny or else incur the wrath of the woke mob. And Ricky Gervais, of course, is doubling and tripling down. Ricky Gervais defends trans jokes in Netflix special. My target wasn't trans folk, but trans activist ideology. Ricky Gervais is defending his trans jokes in the Netflix comedy special that has sparked outrage. I've always confronted dogma that oppresses people and the limits of freedom of expression. It was probably the most current, most talked about taboo subject of the last couple of years. I deal in taboo subjects and have to confront the elephant in the room. And of course, GLAD has come out. All these activist groups have come out and say, it's not okay for him to make fun of us. Whereas Netflix is once again standing behind this content, even going so far as to tell Netflix employees, if you can't handle it, Maybe Netflix isn't the best place for you to work. Maybe you need to find another job if you can't handle, if you disagree with some of the content that we're putting out there. Just like with Dave Chappelle's special, Ricky Gervais is just making jokes, making observations, and making people laugh. That's all that this is. Yet you have seen, time after time after time, a lot of these woke articles, a lot of blue check marks out there, a lot of the activists on Twitter out there trying to get this man canceled, trying to get Netflix to pull it. Well, I don't think it's going to happen because once again, this is disconnected from reality. Stuff like this continues to show there is a huge disconnect between public opinion, the reality of public opinion, and the woke critics. They are losers. They're trying to make this into something that absolutely is not. There's nothing hateful about it. It's just jokes. It's just comedy. And you know that all Ricky Gervais is going to do is continue making these jokes, just like Dave Chappelle and just like all true comedians would. They're not going to worry about a couple people being offended because you know what? It's kind of what comedy is supposed to be all about. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.